There's a line to a quarry at the end of Thomas's branch. It goes for some distance along the road. Thomas was always very careful to whistle here, in case anyone was coming. Early one morning, a large policeman was sitting close to the line. Thomas liked policemen. He had been a great friend of the officer who had just retired. He whistled. Thomas expected the new officer would be friendly too, but he was sorry to see that he didn't look friendly at all. He was red in the face and very cross. He spluttered. said Thomas. The policeman pointed to Thomas. He asked. Snapped the policeman. He looked at Thomas's wheels. And he wrote in his notebook. Said Thomas's driver. The policeman answered. He wrote regular lawbreaker in his book. Thomas puffed sadly away. Sir Topham Hatt was having breakfast. He was eating toast and marmalade. The butler came in, said Sir Topham Hatt. He said to his wife. At the station, Thomas's driver told Sir Topham Hatt what had happened. Sir Topham Hatt spoke to the policeman. But however much he argued with him, it was no good. Sir Topham Hatt felt exhausted. He said, said Thomas. Sir Topham Hatt stared. Then he laughed. A few days later, Toby arrived, said Sir Topham Hatt. Asked Toby, said Sir Topham Hatt. Toby made the silly cars behave even better than Thomas did. At first, Thomas was jealous. But he was so pleased when Toby rang his bell and frightened the policeman. They have been firm friends ever since.